Young people may begin their military career at recruiting offices like this one here in Maplewood. Next stop, basic training at places like Fort Leonard Wood, where they may encounter the best drill sergeant around. From the moment new recruits arrive at Fort Leonard Wood, Drill Sergeant Eric Rostomo says he feels honored. All of these parents and families trusted us as drill sergeants to, to take care of their child. So I assume a huge responsibility for that. His goal is to teach them to be soldiers who are better than the best. To make every single trainee better than I am, faster than me, smarter than me. And, and more lethal than I am. To win the top of war, he had to endure several rounds of competition in the past year. One involved four days of continuous round-the-clock physical and mental challenges. Sergeant Rostomo's superior officer describes him as humble, hardworking, that he has a passion to get the job done. There is no better drill sergeant in the entire United States Army to represent the Army than Drill Sergeant Eric Rostomo. Rostomo says being a drill sergeant is tough. He gets out of bed at 2.30 in the morning and may not get home until 8.30 at night. It's pretty taxing. It's taxing on us and especially taxing on the families who are the support behind every single drill sergeant. He calls his wife the backbone of the family. People at Fort Leonard would say they're lucky to have Rostomo. Americans are lucky too. And we're just very blessed to have him in the United States Army. And I look forward to seeing him in about 10 years taking my job. The drill sergeant tells me he was inspired to join the Army back in sixth grade on 9-11. There are about 3,500 drill sergeants across the country. In Maplewood, Rocky Madden, Fox 2 News.